it's time, you guys, to get serious with something serious. Serious, 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 serious. serious. All right, we were talking about this before. Every gamer has talked about it. If you've played a game in the past 10 years, you know you've been upset. You've spent your money. Pay to win versus pay to cosmetic, I guess. That didn't work. Pay to play versus paying for cosmetics. How do we feel about them? Is there a right way to do like a pay to play or pay to win? Are you? <laughs> he's. I can see. I can like Fucking feel thirsty. I can very feel thirsty the like <laughs> for this conversation. I had completely forgotten what the conversation was until I read that down right there, and I just I tensed up a little bit. Shit got real. Oh, oh! I thought you were gonna share some. Water. Oh, I thought so too. <laughs> I even like carried the glass. Well, never mind. Forget that. Oh, I, was, my bad. I thought no. you were gonna share water. So I chopped down your water. Do you need some more water? Sure. Yes, please. For real. <laughs> what do you? What do you feel? Where is it right? Where is it wrong? Is it always wrong? Uh, go. I'm very outspoken. I very much hate pay to win. Because I always get trapped into these cool looking ass games, these games where I'm like, yeah, I can't wait to play. And it's like, bam, if you wanna play, why don't you drop us, you know, like, I don't know, 400 bucks or whatever like that. So there's a couple games I can actually bring up that I do not like the strategy. Please do. But I do wanna go ahead and say, without a doubt, that I understand the pay to win thing is because these companies are just trying to make money because their game is free. Yep. Obviously. But. Don't make it free to play if you can't fucking play the game without paying. Just make it just make it a fifty, sixty dollar game. Give me all the content. Let me unlock it. You know? So let's talk about one that I was super disappointed in that I got super stoked for for three years. So excited for it. Get it. It was MechWire Online. MechWire Online is one of the worst pay to win, pay to anything strategies I've ever seen. Because you can play the game over and over and over and over and over yep. again. But you won't get good until you get new lasers. And to get yep. new lasers, you've got to get you know, these monies, but you don't make the monies fast enough without multipliers. You get multipliers by paying money or you can just pay for the lasers or you can just buy some new mechs or you can just buy this, buy this, buy this and just want you to buy. And then the cosmetics aren't even free. And then if you get to buy the cosmetics, like, yes. And then if you're poor, well, if you're you're poor, you're poor, it's like, well, have fun in your Kakeda. Yeah, right. Give it to you for free. It sucks, but have fun. You know, that's not fun. Uh, I'm playing. I'm playing a game on the mobile right now. There it's, it is. Uh, Star Wars uh, Heroes of uh, the Galaxy. Well, your first this problem is right you here. picked up a phone game and expected to not spend money yeah. on it, unless it was twenty forty eight. Games, a lot like this game. I've actually had more success in because this game is built off of you have uh, certain characters. You get certain Star Wars characters. Everyone yeah. gets like the same five characters after the tutorial. I'm like level 36 in this game, and everyone still has the same five characters. <laughs> yes. Because no one gets new characters. In fact, I just re- I just learned that recently, since that game has been out for like, I don't know, half a year or a little over than that, maybe, someone just finally unlocked Han Solo. Like, just now? Just now. But say I want Kylo Ren. You know, I could, you know, buy a whole, you know, not buy, but I sit there and I play and I get my cash and I can spend 500 to buy these shards and I have to get like 80 shards to unlock him and I can only buy two at a time and I can only get them once a day, right? Okay. And to do all that, to get that currency up and up and high enough, I actually have to play the game a whole bunch in one day. So, it so if either, you sat down and played nothing but that, but, game, but that game for 40 it, days for straight, 40 days to 40 to 50 days straight, I could finally unlock <laughs> Kylo Ren. Yes. Or I could pay a hundred dollars. And that's not a made-up number. Wow. That is that's not a made-up figure. One hundred dollars. Really? for Kylo Ren. That's ridiculous. That's Kylo Ren and who and else? Kylo Ren. One character, right? It's Kylo Ren and, and uh, Finn. Are a hundred? And a hundred dollars for the no. two of them, and they're like four stars, which is minutely, you know, pretty pretty powerful, because it's hard to get a four star. Another thing, to get Darth Vader, you can't even get Darth Vader by paying for him. You have to, like, play the game a whole bunch and unlock all the achievements, but to unlock half the achievements, you, you got to spend, spend money. money. Or you have to play for four or five oh months straight, God. like five hours a day nope. on this freaking game. You know, that's commitment. That's a bad pay to win strategy. Now, games like War Thunder. War Thunder does it very well. It's got a nice progression system. And when you know what you pay for, you have the pay. You have the pay of planes. If you paid, you get this plane. You could fly like a Japanese plane as the Americans. It's a you know a, a, a captured plane, an enemy captured plane. Um, that's cool. You can get those. They're not insanely powerful. They'll give you a good boost for that tier. Or, or you could buy multipliers that allow you to get like, like a premium status to get more and more of these gold and cash to get it. Or you can just buy gold to buy certain things. That's a cool pay-to-win strategy. Pay-to-cosmetics, I have no problem with. Look how you want. If you don't want to be great, like uh, Elite Dangerous is pay-to-cosmetics. If you don't like your gray ship, go. Well, can't you pay for what you guys were just talking about that's coming out? For 1.0. 1, 1. 
Oh, oh Smite? Smite? Smite, yes. I love Smite's pay-to-win feature because it has nothing to do with what gods you unlock. All gods are balanced it's, and it's how you play. It's right. the cosmetics, It's right? like you pay, you, pay, yeah. Yeah, you pay 30 bucks and you unlock every god. Okay. Forever. Yeah, for 30 bucks. Even the new ones that come out, that's like yeah. your golden ticket to everything. So I, it's I like their you. season pass for life. Okay. Essentially. Because okay. the game yeah. downloads free and you get five starting yeah. heroes. And, you, and, and you then can you, can, you can grind out to just get the ones you like to play because that's all I did. I grinded yeah. out the first five characters, got enough, bought honor, and then after that, like, in fact, I was of, good. Some of them you can't even buy. With yeah, money. some of them you, you can't. have, like, to, you actually have play to actually. You have yeah. to unlock them. Yeah, you okay. have to actually that's play cool. it enough. And, you know, so get that's it. a good pay to Smite, win. Smite's got a, a great pay to win because it's not okay. pay to win. You're not winning anything. Yeah. It's just pay to unlock. Real quick, two questions. So sorry. there's one before. I didn't catch the name, and I'm sorry. I think it was like Tomahawk 2K or something like that. There we go. Tomahawk 2. Oh, I'm good. Tomahawk 2K. Good I didn't even see it that Boom. time. Boom. I pay attention. I see you. What are your thoughts on Infinity Warfare? Infinite Warfare, I would I, assume. Yeah, Infinite Warfare. Probably. I'm really, really excited because of all the space stuff. Everything I've seen come, that's coming out lately <laughs> is looking cooler and cooler and cooler. You guys, he's a really big fan of Halo. That's why he's excited for this game. <laughs> no. you catch he's going he's gonna to choke I'm you really right now. I'm a really big fan of fucking space, sir. If you haven't watched the bearded banter between Josh and James, you need to watch it after this yeah. podcast, this stream, whatever you're watching it on. Go watch it because it's great. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, we, we talk about all the cool stuff that Infinity War is. You know, um, we'll, we'll know more at E3, and we'll definitely be talking about it here. So, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. We'll yep. bring you everything we can as quick as we can. That's for and sure. then. We got uh, another one. From Stickman. Ha, ha, ha. I like your question, sir. I also like your statements. Like, pay to win needs to die the slow, horrible, agonizing death that it deserves. I agree with you on yeah. some extent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, for the mo- I mean, when they're this severe, like 100 bucks for two characters, absolutely. Well, I, I agree with Smite's you where fine. you could like just pay like Smite, yeah. pay the $30 and then Unlock boom. Because I think you your Paragon is like that that's now, fine. too. I think that's Paragon structure because it's like 60 bucks gets you the game now and then also gets you like the characters, and then also gives you in-game currency that I believe you earn playing the game more. Correct. So I got yep. to, I got so, into the beta for Paragon. Right. I played it. It's actually a lot of fun. It's very much more MOBA esque than a lot of these like MOBAs coming out. Like you know, it looks very lot. Unreal, like yep. Unreal the game, like Unreal yeah, tournament yeah. art style. And I saw their new character well, unveiled too, and that makes me want to get into it because he shoots like chains from his stomach and like grapples. Here's everybody. a question oh, that so I'm cool. actually not I'm not too privy on answering myself because I have paid for it multiple times. Battlefield 4. Okay, good. I thought we were going to say some names here. No. And I was like, we should never talk well, about her ever for paying money <laughs> for something like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. time. Just leave it on the <laughs> nightstand and walk away. That's Look, all you oh, need. Yeah. Cynthia, uh, whatever score. her name is, uh, 50-50. I mean. Beyond the, uh, beyond the trick jokes. Ooh, um, <laughs> what about Battlefield 4? You unlock uh, all the weapons. Unlock all the vehicle upgrades, you know, without having to play to unlock them. You know, and you know why I did it is because I got Battlefield 4 on Xbox 360. I got it on PC. I got it on PlayStation 4. I do not have enough time to devote the time to that game. Oh, yeah. Sort of thing. So, so once you got it on so the PS4, you were like, I, When I got it on the PS4, I just, I just bought the $40 pack that unlocks everything. Just that makes sense because then you're not behind yeah, everybody else or your friends I if mean, you don't you have to play. You don't have play. all the attachments or anything. Like yeah. That. You will learn those by using the gun, but at least it allows me to use the guns I want to. Is that is that pay to win? I don't I don't, I don't know. Don't. Like that walks a fine line because then it's like, does the weapon is the the weapon by benchmark standards in the game better than everything else in its existence without it's having how, to grind? It's all, it's all user how you use it. See, and that's a thing too, right? So it's like, I, I don't know. Like with this whole pay to win structure, like people will sit here and argue with me. Like Hearthstone is a pay to win structure. And it's like, I don't view that at all. Like, I have not put a single dollar into it yet. Me either. And I to. whoop on people that oh, like, yeah. have, like, crazy cards, but, like, because they can't strategize and figure out they their don't know card how to decks, play it. I just wreck them, like, every For time. For me, too, any card game, and maybe it's because, I, like, I grew up, I play a lot of Magic, I still play a lot of Magic Card now. games also, by, I'm sorry, but, like, a yeah. microtransaction standpoint, that makes sense to me, right? Me, too, yeah. Like, I, oh, don't, yeah. I don't mind spending, like, 20 bucks for, like, 35 packs, because, like, the amount of money they ask for you and what you get out of it, sure, it's random, and you have well, to pray to RNG. It's like buying a booster pack. Yeah, even with magic, yeah. you know, if it's like you don't, you can buy these small little ones to get better. Yeah. Or as you play, you get more, more and more. More like and more. a booster, like every week but or something. Like, but you can't deny that if you had a free three hundred dollars lying around to throw at the game, you would get better inherently. I have spent thousands of dollars on magic. You like, be brother. No, <laughs> no joke. It like, hurts. It is out. Yeah. I, if I went and sold like all of my cards, I could like fund a trip to E3, like 100%. There it no is. problems. I could do it. Maybe. There's No, I have 
ridiculous amounts. Like I have like stacks of. That's rares. true. Those like, the cards aren't like GameStop ridiculous. games. Yeah, it's not like turning. They games hold into their value they hold <laughs> very well. Actually, a lot of times they go up in value <laughs> yeah, as they true. get rare. Like bought, the original Black Lotus. Dude, that card is worth like 15, so it much. Sold for 1500 last I know time. somebody oh that, I know somebody that had one. They had it like pressed in on like one of those like really nice clean like vacuum card nice. packs or whatever. That, He's this like, this is it? college tuition. I was like, was what? It? Oh. Dude, it's, so, not even, it's not even a joke. That's no, that, that card's worth money. a lot. Like just yeah. to own it. So it's crazy. That's when you're like, I wish I kept all my stuff from my childhood. All the time. <laughs> all the time. I do it all the time. Anybody who's watched my bearded banter with Josh, actually, his bearded banter comes up a lot in this one. I personally am okay, not with pay to win. I think that is disgusting, but I'm always okay with buying that season pass. I'm always okay with buying those extra unlockable stuff like that because I like to support those companies. Oh, yeah. I feel like if you're against it, that's fine. I normally don't buy, like, if it's just like unlock every character, I'm like, well, I'll just play and unlock the characters. But if it's like unlock weapons, if it's stuff like that, like, honestly, I support that. It's like you were saying earlier, it's a way for a company to make a little bit more money. Yeah. You have the option to not buy it. It's not like you're forced to, like, you can't play this game, you can't have fun. With it, yeah, I think that's fine. Like we were saying, card games. Once again, it, maybe it's just ingrained into me because I've played them forever. I think that's fine to pay for them. It's when it really is. If you don't pay for it, it's completely broken. That's the only time it that's, affects me. That's yeah, when like it. when the money puts you above the normal benchmark, and like it's very obvious, like your consistency to just keep winning off of a currency that you put into the game. That's what I don't like. But if it's like little things where it's like you really want that scope, attachment for a gun or skin camo, like just the normal stuff, like cosmetics, right? Because that's the other side of it. Paying money for visual appeal. And like I'm okay that's with your that choice. all day. 100%. Yeah. Hearthstone has the option. Other games have the option. Character classes have the option. Like everything these days seems like if you want some cool customizations, they either give you like the place yeah. you can make your own in even, or you can even buy Dynasty somebody Warriors, else's. You want your Lou Boo to look like a little girl? By all means, oh, yeah. five bucks. Here you go. <laughs> buy the Doshundin pack. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I love Dynasty Warriors. But, uh, another question come in from Andrew Burdick. Uh, what are your thoughts of the Call of Duty 4 remake, uh, Josh? Awesome, 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 awesome. And the only reason I say that is I love the campaign, number one. Yeah, but it was really good. they brought back the, the uh, traditional Call of Duty 4 multiplayer, I'm talking team domination on the bog. That was my fucking entire childhood right so, there. So, <laughs> are you going to pay $80? I'm getting two get $40 it. games. Absolutely. Two for yes, <laughs> damn. <laughs> that's that's Dude, the well, best way to look at that. That is the best way to look at it. That's you, funny. are you going to buy it? No, no. I'm done with. I'm just done with you Call of Duty. I'm done. Just because it's like I have to look at it like from my standpoint. It's like one first person shooter. It's like I did Black Ops Three. I was done with it really quick. <laughs> yeah, we played it. Yeah, yeah, Infinite Warfare. I played that just because of Kevin Spacey. That's what sold me on it. Same. I got rid of it, it really was a quick. I can't, Most of my was trophies Steam. unlocked in Call of Duty is weird. It's Call of Duty Ghosts. Like I need like two more to get the plat, and it's like I just can't even bring myself to go back just and put do it, it in. Yeah, yeah. I was like, all right. But um, no, I'm just done with it. Like I, yeah. I like where I'm at right now with first person shooters, which is Destiny, and it's like I'm okay with that. <laughs> Shut up! Don't you dare laugh! <laughs> yeah, right? Don't like, you dare! Destiny. Destiny. Oh. Yeah. Well, we have an excuse to play it now. So yeah, new yeah, expansion coming out. I'll, I'll be there with you. Yeah, I'm gonna knock some rust off these uh, pauldrons of mine. And, 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 get and I heard from your Facebook post, your wife said you gotta upgrade your warlock. Mm. And she won't let you have it's a actually, certain game it's, until it's, then, right? I've played every character <laughs> and maxed them out, except for a warlock, so there's only yeah. two characters. But So basically, yeah. he's a noob, is what he's saying. <laughs> when it comes to a warlock, I'm just like, I float and I'm so squishy. I'm pretty good at a warlock, though. Yeah. So I wreck havoc as a titan. It's savage. like, if you've seen John Hunter. Wick, like, legitimately, that's me in Crucible with Titan. Like, Kinda, it's yeah, it's yeah. disgusting. I'm just like, there's some guy. Do you see him? Pfft, I don't. I got him. It's truly, it's, it's more it. like Ash and uh, Evil Dead with the Deadites. That's more. Yeah. More, that's no, more that's like probably, it. that's more that's accurate. More, that's more accurate. Yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> all the one-liners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all my one -liners. <laughs> Take that. Fist of Havoc. Slam. Ground pound. <laughs> Balls oh, <yeah>. of Fury. <laughs> I'm, pff, I bring it all on Destiny. Destiny. Destiny needs to do a mod, and it's just Zach's voiceovers. That'd oh, be awesome. please, please do. Oh, yes. Play for, pay for the cosmetic of the voice acting. Only if I I'll be, be your ghost. Only if I could be the bad guy. You want to be Oryx? <laughs> I'm like you. You have a few. <laughs> I'm like you. You have a few lines, and you grunt. <laughs> Welcome to my house of bone. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably buy that. So. Uh, you guys, we all talk about pay to win. Zach, do you have pay to win? Do you play pay to win at all? What do you mean? Do you? Yeah, he said he played. You, um, well, do you? I mean, say Destiny released something where if you play Destiny and I spent 30 bucks, 
I could be top level. So you mean exactly what they did when the newest expansion came out and they gave you the bump to 25? Like they do for World of Warcraft? Kind of. But you still have to, you know, I never never used that. I have that for a second character. It's like, I had that when I got it, and then my wife got it when she got the Taken King. And it's like, obviously we did it for her to, like, get her to catch up so we can, like, bypass a lot of the, like, tedious shit. Um, and we're going to finish, I promise. Um, <laughs> but that's not pay to win though, right? Cause like when you're joining, yeah, that's, that's just helping you get to the halfway mark. Yep. And still that doesn't even bring you to the finish line because it's like, it's, it gives you like gear for that level. But it's like, if you try to go in with somebody that's like level 40, they're yeah. going to wreck your yeah, shit. I don't that, but what like, say like they bring you up to, you know, what is it? What is 30 is the cap right now, right? Uh, 40. It is 40. Okay. It is 40. Say that it brings you up to 40. Right. And it gives you, you know, 40, good 40 gear that you can go raiding. I'm okay with that. Like, it the raid's fun, like, though. break the game. It would well, still yeah. Yeah, allow people you would to still jump be, to. You'd still kind of be still, trash because you don't have the skill and the yeah, knowledge. Yeah, it's, like, it's still, like, very much, like, thumb muscle memory. Go where you're supposed to. I guess it's that, very it synchronized. Would, it would be know the how same to use thing. your abilities. Yeah. Know who to know, kill. Now how to play your character yeah. type. Now now type. Now well, see... Yeah. They have that on World of Warcraft for sixty dollars. You can pay to go all the way up to the max level. But Correct. That's point and that is I'm not gonna lie. Crap. Like I that been, sucks. My wife ass. keeps talking about World of Warcraft, and then I bought that Deathwing pop figure, and yeah. like I'm itching to like go back in. But the no. minute you gotta, I have, the you gotta minute do it. I do, do but I don't have like enough. I don't no, have enough computer just, power. Let's to just run play. It now. Let's just play Star Wars with Brandon. Thank you. There we go. What that's is he? What? Knights Front? of the Old Republic? Just the Old Republic. You mean the Fool's Republic? No, the Old Republic. The game is fun. Hey, wait! Can you pay? For can who? you pay to play to pay to win in that yeah. one? Yeah, uh, sort of. Because so I played like, it while it wasn't free, and then so the free edition, the paid edition, you get more. Okay. So you get like more revives. You get like an XP boost. You get different stuff like that. Yeah. It's an actual game. It's an actual game. <laughs> <And> <laughs> the, but the, the free game is still like enjoyable. It's fun. You can still play with people. You can't talk to anyone till level ten. To level ten, so like, you get off like the main God. planet. You can't what? Even join a group. They're like, sorry, sir, your mouse been so <laughs> shut until you prove your worth. You can't join a guild. Nothing. Yeah. So yeah, you can't. You can't join a guild. That's it's horrible. still fun. But I th- and I see that's one of those instances where I think it's fair because if you're playing an MMO seriously, you're paying for it. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So to be playing it seriously, you want to play against other people who are taking it seriously. So you want to play against those people who are paying. If you're just some schmuck who plays it once a week, like I mean, I would be, <laughs> and you go on to schmuck. PvP and you get upset that these people who've been playing for the last like two years who yeah. have been paying for it the whole time are better than you, like tough. That's your fault. That's your fault. You should have been playing for Thank two you. years. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're going, you, into, uh, if you're going out, into a raid like, with somebody that paid to play, like I was saying, World of Warcraft, you go in and then they're like, wait, what do I do? Yeah. And you're like, damn you, you raid you're, finder. You're no, you know you're having a problem with a pay to win game when you've been playing seriously without paying for like three months. Uh, yep. Some guy who's level one named Dick Butt 420 yep. just stomps the shit yep. out of you because he's super over geared. You're like, oh, man. Dick <laughs> Butt 420. I feel like that'd be an actual name somebody. Maybe you would have it. <laughs> I don't know about the 420 part, but Dick Butt, absolutely. Yes. Here, real quick, before we go into the question, I just want to grab this real quick because I know we keep going off. Paid for cosmetics. Who here has done it? Cosmetics in a game. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Like I just feel like I have. I feel okay. Like I have. What did you do it on and for what? I uh, uh, it was uh, MechWare. I did it for most mostly my Mech games. Yeah. Mech games. Okay. Yeah. What about I you? can't think of it offhand, but I feel like I've definitely done it before. Armored Armored Core to buy the different parts. I remember that. Yeah. Maybe maybe one of the dance the the emotes in Destiny. I may have bought one of those. I was waiting for you to say Dance Dance Revolution tracks. Oh. I was gonna be like, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Oh. Dance Dance. I guess Revolution. that would be Rock Band tracks too. Oh, you need a Sandstorm. Oh yeah, I've paid Yo. for Rock Band. I bought all the Behemoth <laughs> tracks. I was like, ooh, <laughs> <I> like <laughs> Anyways, what about you? Uh, most recently for Dota Two. Dota 2? Yeah. Okay, that's a good that's a good reason. Yeah. The MOBAs are usually a good place to do that. They're really um, neat. For myself, the cosmetic wise, the biggest one was um Destiny. Yep. When they were doing the sparrow racing. Because oh, yeah. oh, I wanted my journal so cool. log that ran it, and then I wanted a certain sparrow. So yeah, I did that. So you paid that's... all that money for a week's worth of cosmetics that you <laughs> don't have anymore? I still have them. You get to keep them. We had and yeah. then I oh, and then I did it for the Halloween event too, because I wanted the flaming skull. Those Halloween ones were actually really cool. Yeah, yeah and then like were. the paper yeah. mache mask, that was like really cool. But like I think total that's like fifteen bucks, like between the two events. Like it wasn't bad at all. That's not bad. No, yeah. it wasn't. No, um and then from Alexander Clark, I did not miss you. I see everything. Uh thoughts on the new de- new Deuce X. I've been playing Deuce X since the first one. I but the new one, because that trailer came out. It's gonna be cool. It looks sick. Like it looks it looks like they're taking, because they can finally push the story a little bit, thanks yeah. to the new hardware. 
I'm yeah. excited to see just the story. Like, I don't care if it plays. I don't care if it was just like a text dialogue game. I'm all about it because like people are in poverty. People are getting separated. If you have prosthetics, you're viewed as the enemy. Then you have people that are just full like human people that aren't as prosthetic people that have embraced parallel. it completely. Yeah. And it's like you play it's in the other trailer. It shows that, you know, your guy deuce, where is deuce, right? It's like Alex Clark. Or it's Alex. Stone. Well, that, I'm sorry. Is it's been a bit. I've been a little bit. Okay. Um, but yeah, he plays both sides. So he's like trying to keep the balance in the war. He's like, like the mediator. Bay. He is the mediator. Yeah. I was like, See, uh, like the, those games have stressful. always had those games. Like, I mean, the direction that the games have gone though is is very, it's way more mature than it has been. Because uh, yes. the first one was a lot about like That's true. like like cyber terrorism and conspiracy yeah. theories. Ghost in the shell stuff. The second one was about like religious extremism, and, but cyber terrorism, religious extremism, right. releasing like nano machines and stuff. Yeah. And then you know the third one was more about was like is it okay are you still human if you lose your body you know yeah and this first one is like it just kind of took it in a direction that doesn't ask a question it just shows an outcome to the question yeah. here's the world if we allowed you know biotics to go around you would have them split into non humans and meta humans and we see this in X Men we see this all over the place and it's it's kind of a it's kind of a trope at this point in time but I really like the direction it's going though I should say because it looks super cool. that trailer alone like just tearing the two lovers apart yeah. like after they that were together awesome. they went through that situation where like they had to get prosthetics yeah. and then they were torn apart because of that, even though they loved each other and they like, didn't people come knock down their doors and tear them out? I can't remember how it happened That's or, what it, or something happened in so, the yeah. streets, yeah, I, but then they were pulled apart. I was like, Oh my God. Like that's that, just cool. Anytime, that alone. anytime you like touch on any topic that's like we deal with in real life yeah. is always big. So obviously just people being divided has always been yep. kind of an issue. So to kind of take that and put it into a video game format, which might be more digestible to some people and kind of bring up those hard to talk about topics and then put it in such a cool format. That's something that's also possible in our like maybe not our lifetimes but in our universe right getting those cybernetics getting that kind of stuff could potentially happen it could divide oh, it yeah. could humanity it, it could oh, yeah. yeah absolutely yeah 